Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cece and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to share how I made these music sheets ornaments, uh, which I just found these music sheets on Google as a PNG file and I uploaded it to Design Space. So let's get started. So I'm in Design Space and let's go on ahead and upload the image that I'm going to use. So just go to Upload upload then browse so find the file wherever you saved it and I have mine right here and there's a bunch of them that I have saved under one folder choose the file you can choose simple or complex it's completely up to you then click continue I'm going to zoom out so you can see what this looks like then click continue and right here on the left side box, click on it because we're going to save this as a print and cut. Name the file, put a tag if you like, then click save. So if you can just hold for a few seconds, I'm just going to upload more images. Feel free to do the same or you can always put the video on pause. Okay, so I think this is good for now. I'm just going to click on all the images that I've uploaded, then click insert. And here we go. I'm going to the left side panel and grab a shape, then go up here to resize. And don't forget to unlock the shape here because I'm going to resize the shape to two inches in width and three inches in height. That is the size of the canvas I'm going to use and I'm using the shape as a reference. So now I'm going up here to change the color of the shape just for a better view. Then zoom in and I'm just going to bring the shape up here. Then grab one of the images and see how it's going behind the shape. Just go on the top panel and click Arrange, then send it to the front. Grab the image and place it on top of the reference shape, just to verify that this is how big I want the image to be. Then check and verify the rest of the images. Once you're done, grab the shape and delete. So I'm just going to line these up and since the printing cut only allows us to print 6.75 by 9.25, so I'm just going to grab a shape and I'm going to use that as a reference. And don't forget to unlock the shape to resize to 6.75 by 9.25. Change the color for a better view. And now it's covering my images, so I'm just going to click Arrange and then send it to the back. Then zoom out. Now you can see that you can still add a few more images if you'd like, which I'm going to do because I would like to maximize the space to do print and cut. And it looks like I'm going to need five more images to fill up the space. I'm just going to grab more images and I'm going to do a fast forward on the video so that we can go to the next step. Now that it's filled up, I'm just going to grab the shape and then just delete. Then click make it. We are now on a preview screen and everything looks good. So I'm just going to click continue. And right here, we're going to click send to printer. And this box will pop up. Click on the system dialog and then print. And right here, I don't know about you, but this window will pop up for me and I will choose to color the grayscale, then click print. 
While that is printing, let's go to custom settings and choose copy paper. I have it saved as my favorite, so if you don't see it on yours, just go to browse all materials and do a type search. And there it is. Now let's go back. And I'm going to choose copy paper. And this screen right here will prompt you what blade to use and that you need to load the mat, as well as the pressure of the blade that you are using. So let's go ahead and prepare the mat so this way it's going to be ready to load into the machine. Once the mat is loaded into the machine, it will scan the registration box and just start cutting. Now that it's done cutting, remove the excess copy paper from the mat. Then fold the mat like in a taco shape and gently remove the copy paper from the mat. Or if you don't want to cut with your Cricut machine, you can always use a portable trimmer or scissors and just manually cut it yourself. I'm using these canvas panels that I got from Walmart and I'm going to cut these to the sizes of 2 inches in width and 3 inches in height. I'm going to sand the sides down just to smooth it out. And I'm using white chalk paint on the sides of the panel. So I have a bowl of coffee here and while the paint is drying, I'm just going to crumple up the paper and just throw it in there for about 10 minutes. Remove the paper from the bowl and I'm going to crumple it again and just towel dry the paper to remove excess liquid. Now I'm going to uncrumple it and just let it dry. Once the paper is dry, I'm going to take my matte Mod Podge and use this as an adhesive and sealer for the canvas and paper. Once you put Mod Podge on the panel, take the paper and just place it on top of the panel and smooth it out, then seal it with your Mod Podge. Then just let it dry. Once it's dry, you can decorate it however you like. I'm just using some twine. So right here, just dab some glue and then place that twine there. And I'm gonna add more glue on the back and I'm going to take the twine and just kinda wrap it around. I do it about two, three times. And this is completely optional. If you wanna add more twine at the bottom of it, it is completely up to you. And right here, I'm just going to add some greenery or berries. Uh, whatever you prefer would also work. And that's it. All right, guys, if you want to see more, please leave me a comment or give it a like. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.